Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. And uh, hey, uh, happy Friday to everybody. Hope you all have a wonderful upcoming weekend here. Today is July 15th, and uh, big economic news release is scheduled for today. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. We'll start off here with the core CPI. Now, I didn't put in the, the headline number. The headline number actually is kind of like reflected yesterday as the PPI where uh, it went upwards. Uh, showed, actually, it showed negative on there. But let's take a look here at the core where we wipe out the strip out the food and energy that makes it a little bit more volatile. And that's really what the Fed kind of looks at. So the previous month was at 0.3%. Uh, we were kind of expecting it to drop a little bit down to 0.2%. But it continued at another 0.3%, so we went up a little bit. So inflation does did show that it, it raised a little bit. Ne next month, I would uh, steer to say that they're definitely going to be watching as we the Fed has says that inflation will taper, taper down towards the second half of the year. So we want to definitely see if that comes true. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the Empire State Built Index. And what that is, and that's the manufacturing section of New York and the previous month it was at negative 7.8. If you remember last month, we had said that that was the first time in almost nearly three years that we had a negative. Manufacturers been kind of holding us somewhat afloat here in our economy. Uh, we were expecting it to bump up to about five. And actually, it was a, it did bump up a little bit, but only up to negative 3.8. So, again, not so good right news right there uh, you know, for the manufacturing side, especially in the New York region. You know, we have the industrial production, and what that is is basically the output of industry that it kind of gives the Fed a gauge of a little bit of inflation, but also for uh, what the GDP kind of help project what the GDP would be. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We had the previous reporting at point one, negative 0.1%. We're expecting that to go up a half a percent. It did go up in positive territory this time around, but 0.2%, so still a little shy of what the estimate was, uh, but it did go in the right direction. Capacity utilization, uh, it came in, the previous month was at 76.7, uh, 76.9. Capacity what utilization, what that is, in case you don't know, is basically what your, where your current levels of output and what your, what you potentially could go to, what your full maximum. And again, this could be a good gauge for inflation as well as projections uh, for future and uh, usually they get concerned once we hit around 82 to 85 percent uh, for inflationary numbers uh, numbers so we actually came in basically the same uh, with the previous month so no change there uh, that's pretty good so we we're still relatively low now consumer sentiment this could be a real big thing here and this is kind of telling you the mood of where uh, what the people are feeling right now in this current economic environment previous month uh, was at 71 and a half we expect it to drop a little bit, 71.3, but actually drop quite a bit to 63.8. So that's not so good. As we've said before, uh, uh, as I've said before, usually perception, when people perceive something that's bad is happening, sometimes that becomes your reality. And uh, if everybody's starting to feel kind of negative, uh, that could become the reality because everybody kind of sets that tone. Uh, they stop spending and it just kind of affects into the economy and kind of slows everything down. Uh, so as we kind of seen in the past. So let's go ahead and see what the headline numbers or headline news is. Uh, stock market is up very little. There's kind of light trading going on right now. And uh, that, that's really about it. So let's take a look here at the bond market where interest rates are at. Uh, we started off the morning low. We had a kind of op morning opening gap, as we can see right here. We, we had a drop in the day, and we started off down here, so we had a slight opening gap. And right now, we're making a little bit of a rebound on 12 basis points. Typically, the CPI would kind of, uh, the core CPI would kind of scare people, but maybe they're looking more at the headline news. And right now, you know, interest rates are a little bit worse than what they were yesterday. But, you know, if this continues, we could have a price improvement as well. So we could probably see things range between, you know, the 101 par, you know, what is about, yeah, the 101.20 to about the par 101.20 in this range. We could see something in this range here. This might be the range we might kind of keep watching here. So, all right, folks, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And, again, uh, if you guys are out home shopping look, or home buying, looking for properties or looking to refinance, uh, please Keep me in mind. I'm at CaliforniaMortgageTips.com. Give me a ring. Give me a, 
email. I'd love to be able to talk to you further about your mortgage needs. Uh, I, I do loans only in California, though. All right. Have a wonderful weekend.